Hello, my name is Karx82, and welcome back to our FTB Interactions series. Still don't know what's causing that lighting weirdness. I don't know if there's like running water or something when I was building. I, I don't think so. But I don't know. Maybe I did something. I think it's just something weird with the lighting. Um, not a big issue, but uh, I have been kind of busy. Other than I did... Uh, harvest a lot of sugar for their food but I have finally got all these crafted up nothing difficult at all just some components and circuits that's really all it was all this was really easy had the diamond um, anvil is kind of a bit expensive but uh, resources aren't actually that bad in this pack to be honest um, because being able to or double and or quadruple and so on and so forth um yeah um, i'm just kind of in the midst of moving all the chests and everything over now um this is the center of the base i broke the builder's guide but wasn't sure if i was going to need it for something in case i broke something and i need to know where to put the lock so i just kind of put that there just so i know that uh yeah um, I'm going to, I want to process all this stuff into uh, sugar, usable sugar for my food is the thing. Really? <laughs> I didn't know I had a, I didn't know, I forgot I had an anvil in the, oh well. Um, hopper, do we have a hopper anywhere? That's what I'm looking for, we do. Alright, so we'll do that and then... Hungry chest. I guess we could do it. Runs crate. I don't. I don't need a. I don't actually need a actual chest. But what I'm gonna do is basically just hopper all this stuff in, and we can do the same. We can do this with. Uh, floors and everything. So that'll just process. It's not super fast. Really? <laughs> it's the second time now. As soon as I start recording, it starts thundering. I don't know how loud that is, so... I think I turned it down before, didn't we? Yeah. I may just have my sound up in my... headset. Yeah, so that'll just kind of slowly tick through that. Although I kind of want kind of want a chest on top yeah so as we can see I definitely need to <laughs> get the stuff moved over I also have a few more machines that I still haven't gotten around to doing I keep saying that and you know I'm just gonna do it in here it requires the same amount of resources it's just manual as opposed to putting in the assembler i just don't have where is my assembler right here yeah i didn't feel like changing the the number to eight there we go throw that all in there and that'll just slowly just work away processing that sugar for me and then uh Um, also, I switched one of the sandwiches. I was doing PB&J with grape, but I realized that was kind of annoying because it didn't come up on... If we type to jelly in here, it brings up all the different jelly sandwiches, but PB&J is different, so it didn't... that one didn't come up. So I decided to change my mind with that, and we're gonna do cranberry instead so cranberry jelly cranberry sandwiches all right i do have enough it looks like so i think i'm going to take all this stuff out don't really need it in the chest but uh, i hope this works Alright, there we go. So it filled up my 
thing. I'm gonna I wanna get the rest of the cranberry so we have an even amount in there. Um just so it uh it distributes the food a bit more evenly. But uh yeah, that is pretty cool. Finally got some decent ish food. It's not great, but better than Better than just snacks. All right, so I want to get the rest of these things placed down. Extractor. Actually, it would probably be better next to the chemical reactor. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Sometimes I do put the sticky Sticky resin in there for the raw rubber pulp mixer. Whoa, <laughs> he's there. Actually, may do may do the forge hammer. Like that. I don't know. As I continue and decide where I want to, if I need to move stuff, I can. But, all right, so there's that. And let's see, is there, I feel like, is there a dolly thing? I don't, I don't think it's like a, oh, there's a dolly. Please. Did we get a dolly before? I feel like I got a dolly. I did get a dolly, yeah. So, in theory, yeah, we can just pick this stuff up. And it doesn't cause any slowdown, which is kind of nice. I gotta figure out where I'm putting all this stuff. Um, question is... Yeah, I still need that furnace thing. So, all right, let me do this off camera and we will come back. Okay, we are back. Kind of just moved the chest to the middle. Kind of annoying that they are facing the wrong way. I wish they would rotate. I don't know, is there any way to rotate these things? Is that rotating? No. Yeah, I don't know. Can't seem to get these to rotate. I don't know if that's actually a thing. But, yeah, I'll probably just break them and move them, because that's... <laughs> I like having them all faced the right way. But, uh, yeah, this is just kind of our temporary thing until we get an A system, which we'll... actually don't know how far that's going to be, but, uh, yeah, it works. Just the chest, kind of right in the middle, and then we have all our machines. So, what do we want to do? Well, there's a few things that we need to do to start progressing, and one of the... Things I want to get. And I need to start producing some oxygen and hydrogen. They're very important. So, what am I going to do? I'm actually going to break this. We don't need that anymore. We don't need that anymore. And I can actually break the. This. I'll actually use this. Yeah, I think I'll use this over over there. I'll I'll leave the that there. I guess. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to have eventually they will be these will be replaced with just single block tanks. I like having these quantum tanks full of large amounts of fluid, 64,000 buckets um, for all our chemistry needs. So I do like that. I'm thinking, I think I'm gonna do like along this wall. Double check, I don't, mob spawning. Yeah, we'll kind of do this. Though I kind of do like having multi-blocks instead of those tanks. I don't know. Those tanks just hold so much more than these. How do I want to 
That's probably... Maybe... Like that? Maybe in the front, out the back, maybe? We don't know. We'll just have to... Let's see how it goes, to be honest. I'm just kind of, you know, just, I don't know why I broke that one. But, uh, yeah, just kind of seeing what I like and what I don't like, and then we can always adjust it as needed. Yeah, that works. I don't have a... I didn't put any glass on. It doesn't really matter, to be honest, because it doesn't, the level doesn't, the level works that well. So I guess we'll just do under here. It's down. I like having it two below. So if I need to run cables or anything underneath, it is not in the way. I guess we'll do a stew. But that's my like fresh water. I like having a access to it. That should. Yep, there we go. And there we go. So that should start filling that up. Yep, and eventually that'll start running very, very slowly, which is why I wanted to get that set up. Yeah, I'll block it off. We don't really need it open. All right, so there, that's gonna very, very slowly do water and oxygen, obviously H2O. So that'll produce water and oxygen, and then we're gonna pump it into there. Now the Best way to do that is probably Ender IO, pressurized Ender IO conduits. I don't know if we have those yet, though. I broke everything down in here, didn't I? Yeah, we don't. We have plenty of item conduits. We have eight pressurized fluid conduits. Let's see. Yeah, fused quartz. Oh, we can't actually get it. All right, well, we'll get these. I didn't realize they were actually... We got these originally from that quest, if I remember, but they're actually... They're not that bad to make. We can just throw wrought iron or another quartz dust. Graphite. Okay, wait, we don't have graphite. We don't have another quartz yet. What am I talking about? Um, but... That is, hopefully, let's see, one, two, four, five, I mean, we could always move this closer, but I just had just enough to get that out. All right, I just realized, yeah. That's something I just did. <laughs> All right, I need to eventually. Is this not? Oh, I'm thinking ender fluid conduits is what I'm thinking. Yep, ender fluid is the one that you can do multiple. That's what I was thinking. Ender pearl, rose gold. Rose gold is not a problem. Don't think I have an ender pearl. I have an ender. I have ender. Yeah, don't have... I do have an ender world. I'm not going to worry about that right this second, but once we start... Yeah, that's going to be... I wonder if that voided it. No, 
didn't void it. Um, we'll just do that. All right. Well, technically, they're now. <laughs> Obviously, the hydrogen's going to go in there, and that. So that's definitely not ideal. Um, filters. I'm just trying to think. We do have fluid filters. That does require zinc. We do have a decent amount of zinc and a lapis. Uh, we could do that, but... The problem... Break tech pipes are not the best to be honest because they act like pretty sure they act like buckets I don't know let me just borrow this so I can see yeah that that acts like a bucket so the problem is if you get oxygen in one uh, doing it like this the problem is if you get the oxygen moving down here and then it outputs hydrogen you might get hydrogen in this part and then oxygen in this part but the hydrogen needs to get here but it can't so then it gets clogged up so that is one of the issues with these greg tech pipes because they have each of them has an internal buffer it's basically connecting tanks so uh, yeah i don't think i want to do that the best way would you be to uh, put a f actually actually let me let me try that actually let me get a filter crafted up I want to see if that how that works actually in this pack I'm just kind of curious actually uh, worst case scenario not worst case but we could always craft up you know. We could do thermal dynamic stuff. I don't know. I would like trying to stick with Greg Tick though. Okay, we are back and gone ahead and crafted up the cutting machine and we cut down our lapis plates. There's only that's the only way to get these lapis. And uh, I also wanted to point out that we can actually now that we have oxygen. And we'll do this and actually I need I need a free bucket here actually let me put that back and grab some oxygen what we can do is feed the blast furnace oxygen and if we put a iron ingots and a piece of tiny carbon we can actually smelt steel so now uh, we don't need to do not what I want, steel ingots. Now we don't have to do the whole uh, alloy smelt, the um, crude steel ingots, and then, or alloy smelt into crude steel, and then we have to smelt the things that way. We can just put it directly in the blast furnace, and we will get steel that way. We also get some small dark ashes back which can be actually turned into more carbon. So we're getting carbon from the uh, aluminum that we have been smelting up. And that is where we did that. So, so we got that. And then I also moved the turbines down and threw down the other turbine that I had from the, it was originally in that room so now we have two turbines running to power this because as we can see um, we're actually gaining power with the two turbines but obviously we're not producing enough power to run blast furnaces and LV machines over here and everything so yeah that is kind of what I have done now I want to test out these cables Oh, those look really cool. All right, well, that texture has been changed. I didn't know that. I just assumed it was going to be like a little a block. Oh, that looks really cool. Um, so what I'm thinking, if this is anything like 
four. I guess we'll do... I don't know if that's going to work. I don't want oxygen to get into these pipes. So we'll try this. So I guess we'll do... I'm assuming we probably need... Yeah. So you need a screwdriver to open this up, I believe. Filter, fill, filter, drain, filter, fill, and drain. I guess drain. Wouldn't drain... I don't know. We'll try it. Whitelist hydrogen. So what I'm trying to tell it is only let hydrogen down there. Um, I feel like this needs to be on that side. I don't know. We'll see. All right. That is not letting it through. Bill? No, it looks like it needs to be on that. All right, so yeah, screwdriver. Um, I figured it would be a screwdriver that we need. A uh, screwdriver to get rid of the, or take off the cover. So I guess we'll do maybe that. I don't know if there's a way to signify because I'm not seeing like the I'm not seeing the like if we hover over I'm not seeing the grid unless I'm like yeah I'm not seeing a grid anywhere oh that eh, this is why I kind of wanted to do this to test this stuff out all right so I'm assuming it's fill like fill this block. It's on this block, so I want it to whitelist what it can put in that block. I'm assuming that's what that is. Let's try. All right, there we go. That is going through. And what I don't want is for hydrogen or oxygen to go through. All right, well, I think that worked. I have no idea. We shall see. I think that I think that works though. Yeah, it looks like it's blocking. I don't know how these are programmed though. Is it just programmed to automatically since it can put oxygen in there, it just puts it all in there or does it try to split it up? I actually I don't know how it is coded. Um, so I'll just let that run and we shall see. All right. As I'm kind of watching these pipes, I'm almost wondering if this logic has been changed from what I am used to. Because I'm not seeing like when this is emptying out, I'm not seeing it like say it's emptying out. Like it's not, I'm not seeing it in the pipes. So I almost wonder if. The pipes have been changed, to be honest. Um, like maybe each one is not. Maybe each one is not like uh, considered a tank anymore. I don't know. Um, I'll keep an eye on this, but I'm almost thinking. Wonder if we could just get rid of the filter. Are these like just kind of normal pipes that we're used to in other modded? I don't know. We'll see. See now this is emptying, but usually. You would see it going through the pipes, but it's actually not doing that. So that is interesting. I will I'll have to do a bit of testing with that. All right. Uh, but moving on, um, we talked last episode about getting polyethylene, our first plastic. And to get that, we were going to need air or oxygen. This is one of the reasons I wanted to get oxygen going um, earlier than later. Because you mix it with the ethylene and you get a better ratio if you use oxygen um but to get started on that we are going to need a distillery because we're going to use our oil that we got so basically we're going to distill our oil 
turned it into fuel or naphtha or one of these things. I don't know which one I'm going to do. Usually, I think it's naphtha is like the best one to. I don't know. I would have. To, I'm going to have to go through here and figure out which one I want to actually do uh, to get ethylene. I th I think. A polyethylene we need ethylene which we need light fuel thousand a one bucket of light fuel gets 250 ethylene not the greatest all right yeah naphtha looks like maybe the best yeah so like refiner gas is 800 to 20 you don't want that so I'll have to do that. I think I usually do naphtha to start out with. But uh, yeah, to get that, we're going to need to, like I said, distill the oil. And to get a distillery, we're going to need a blaze rod. So a couple things here that are pushing us into the nether, unfortunately. <laughs> One is gallium. And the other is blaze rods. So that's a thing we are going to have to do. Um, not the end of the world, but uh, it's definitely something. Now there is a quest for the nether somewhere right there. So I'll pin that. We need 10 nether portal blocks. Pin that. And to do that, we're going to need blocks of obsidian. So we need 30 obsidian. We need an angel block. We need some feathers, which is not a problem. Gold, obsidian, more obsidian. Um, we do have that altar. I need to move these teleportation things too. How'd that get over here? Oh, also, you may notice I threw down sugarcane out here. Because um, when I break it, it's going to get picked up and thrown in this chest. Um, yeah, so we have the altar for that. Obsidian, steel, and then quartzite and thomium. All right, quartzite, we're going to need to get a sifter and a ore washer. That has been on up here for I don't even know how long. So... That has been on my to-do list for a very long time. It just keeps getting put off. All right. Unfortunately, we're not going to have enough time for that today. But it looks like we're going to be going to the nether relatively soon here. So I'm going to have to get some thomium. How much thomium are we going to need? One each? Yeah. Ten thomium. I have eight. Oh, man, I forgot how to make. Hmm. There is a Greg Tech version. I just was looking. Um, I forget what the, uh, what did I dump in the thing? Percantio, uh, there was something really easy. Was it sandstone or something like that? Oh, man, I forgot. Forget what it was. What did I throw in there? I'm going to have to go back and look at the episodes because there was an easy way to get it. I don't remember. Um, but anyway, so we're going to have to get Terra, uh, Thaumium, and then, uh, yeah, we're going to have to get some Quartzite. So we got a few things we need to do here, um, but uh, I feel pretty good. We got the base moved over today and then got all our machines upgraded. Um, I'll do a bit of testing on these pipes and we'll report back how they work. But I'm almost wondering if they just work like conduits almost. I don't know. We'll see. That would be a pretty huge change if they do. And um, like if I don't need a filter, it won't try to put, it won't send oxygen down here because it can't get in here. That's what I'm kind of wondering. So I guess let's just do that and we'll see what happens. We'll see if it gets jammed up when that does that. So, yeah, we're starting to get into our chemistry here. And, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing where this goes. I am a bit nervous about the nether. A little bit nervous about the nether. But 
Um, we do have one thing of night vision. I have been avoiding using it as much as possible. <laughs> I had four. We're down to one, but I knew we were going to need it for the nether. Um, I think we can make... Yeah, it's the spider eyes that are annoying. I think I have one. I have one spider eye left. Um, but that is scary. Another is scary. But anyway, that's going to be it for this episode. So thanks for watching and have a good one.